Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Star Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do your They Pray and Pray on Your Downfall series. This is going to be a general reading just to take a little peek, peek see what's coming in. What's going on? What's going on with the Scorpio Collective? See if you have any, uh, you know, any fugazi energy around you, any sussy energy. You know, there's, there's a lot of fugazis out here nowadays. So we just want to see what's going on. We're about to close this year out. So it would be very, very um, wise to, to, uh, to block out those individuals from coming into a new year or entering a new year um, under this disguise or under the guise of of uh friendship and 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 being your family or your homie or your your home girl so we're going to take a little peeky peek put a magnifying glass on all of those foo-foos i will everyone is bliss feeling wealthy healthy mind body and soul everything is everything on my side of the planet i welcome any one of you that may be new to the channel um I appreciate you all being here. I hope the messages resonate, correlate with you. Hope my energy vibes with yours. Um, if you find that it does, be kind. Hit that like button and share if you so feel inclined. As well as the notification so you know whenever I upload. To all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Um, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am clairaudient and I'm also uh, an empath. So I do listen to music uh, while I do the readings. And the way that it works is the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, even the timestamp. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what's coming out in the uh, tower cards. And it all just blends very beautifully, if I do say so, Marcel. Um, my readings are also timeless, so whenever you have found this video or this video has found you, well, that was divine time and beloved. Um, my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't, affli doesn't apply, <laughs> if it doesn't apply, let it fly by, okay? Don't try to force anything. Don't try to make it your story. If it isn't, you know your story. If you need to do a flip, you know what I'm saying? If you need to flip... Flip the roles, flip the characters, flip, flip. Just do the flips, okay? Because this is a general reading. Um, I may be saying, you know, your person when it's really you. And I may be saying you when it's really your person. That's what I mean when I say do the flip. Flip it, flip it, flip. The high shade. So um, let's go ahead and do some house cleaning. And then we shall proceed with the read. As I said, this is going to be the they pray and pray on your downfall so I got the dark grimoire here, ready to pick up on that, on that uh, heavy energy, uh, see what's lurking, see what's hidden, uh, Shay. So let's go ahead and do some house cleaning. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, uh, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 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 beloveds. So let's tap in, beloveds. Let's tap in. Right now we have Oshun playing, and this is called Gods. So ye are gods. This is a message that has been coming out a lot, meaning you are the alchemist, you are the magi, you can set intention, you can channel that energy to co create with Source. So ye are gods, whatever you think you create. So if you're sitting around and, and thinking of a master plan, beloved, that master plan shall come into fruition. It will materialize. Um, I feel like your ancestors are also um, very, very, um, very much protecting you, surrounding you, guiding you. You know, there's, there's an armor of protection. 
I feel like your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your gods, your deities, whomever you pray to, whomever you, um, whomever it is that you devote time and energy to nurture and cultivate that relationship, that connection, they are very present in your lives. I feel like they're spiritually protecting you from individuals that could be preying on your downfall as well. With Oshun, Oshun is a beautiful Orisha and she is known for beauty. So there could be someone who is very jealous and envious of your beauty, of you being very handsome, very attractive. Maybe you are getting a lot of attention. Maybe you are in the spotlight. Maybe you are seen as a star. Maybe you are seen as a wish fulfillment. But there's, um, I feel some energy that could be lurking. That could be a little jelly is what I'm hearing. So I got power on the bottom of the deck. That's number eight. And so I'm getting a sense of you all have braved your light. You have taken your power back. You're standing your ground, standing up for yourselves, speaking your truth. I feel like you have, you know, learned karmic lessons and this has brought you to a very powerful place. It's like I'm hearing half man, half amazing when I see this, you know, and this is all about leadership. This is about being bold, being risky, being daring, being, you know, powerful. You're in your power. Someone could be jelly of your power. Someone's karma could be sitting back and watching you in this very powerful position. You know, watching you have success, watching you not only... Uh, be willful and determined towards certain goals you may have set for yourself, uh, but also achieving those goals because you're so determined, because you're so willful. It's like you're a boss right now. This is boss energy. You've bossed up. This eight is also saying you have infinite supply because your hard work, your efforts, that determination, it is paying off. You know, because I'm getting like the eight of pentacles as well. It's like you've kept your eyes on the prize. You know, you did not get distracted. I feel like a lot of you all walking away from someone that left you feeling emotionally bankrupt is how you also took your power back. Because I'm getting the eight of cups. Self-love always makes you more attractive. Someone can be very salty. Because now they're receiving karma and their karma is watching you transform. You've literally transformed. You've leveled up. Eight is the strength card. So this is like you are in your power. You're owning it. And as I said, you've braved your light. You've confronted fears. I feel like you've also proven a lot of people wrong who may have counted you out. And I just saw 826 and that's 66 or that's uh, 16, excuse me, and that's 7. So that 7 is giving me the 7 of swords where there's someone very deceitful. Maybe someone's trying to plot, scheme, scam. So be mindful. Let's see what we have on the split. So we have sacrifice. So you definitely sacrificed in the past. That 12 breaks down to 3. That I'm getting empress energy. So you were very loving, very nurturing, even if you're a masculine, very protective, very pro much a provider, a supporter um, of that person, of whomever these individuals are. And they could be very salty because you have taken your power back. This, these are individuals that you've sacrificed for. You've, you've overcompensated. And it led to perhaps heartbreak, disappointment, but it was a very, it was a learning lesson. If you look, she's like almost, you know, she's, she's very deep in the waters. So this speaks to like deep emotion. You know, there was a lot of emotional um, investment in whatever or whomever this was, you know, with that 12, I'm strongly getting a sense of like you having to learn to balance things out. Because this 3 and this 8 is 11. 
then that breaks down to two. So I feel like you really had to learn to find balance within yourself. That two is the high priestess. So there could have been a lot of secrets. You could have been deep into a situation with someone that had you like up in the clouds, confused. As I said, that three is giving me three of swords. You know, so there was a lot of heartbreak, but this was sacrifice. This is like, um, you know, it's almost like a, a sacrificial, um, you know, position to be in so that you could learn the lesson. As I said earlier, like learning karmic lessons is how you got your power back, how you learn to own your power. And we have Jodeci here, and this is called, um, what is this? Can I see the name of the song, beloved? Who is this? Okay, this is called Stay. So this is Stay. So someone was trying to get you to stay. Someone, you know, with that 11, I'm also getting confusion, you know, because that's two. So that's like being in two minds, being confused, conflicted, maybe stuck, you know, where you have to make a choice. You know, that's almost like the fork in the road. Maybe someone else was... Um, Maybe someone was trying to get you to stay in a situation that was no no good for you, but you took your power back and you moved on, you know. And I just saw eleven twenty two, which is two four six, so that's like six of swords, like moving on, moving away. You may have moved away from someone, you know, got away from those those troubled waters, from a difficult situation, from a karmic situation, or maybe even just you know a a, a, um, a very um, chaotic, you know, very, very negative circumstance. I'm getting, I'm getting like the five of swords, you know, before you get to the six of swords, it's the five of swords and it's just like, it's a lot of drama. So let's tap in. So let's see what's, who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall. May I have a message of love and a message of light spirit. So we got on the bottom of the deck, the seven of, um, the crown chakra. So this is you. Highly intuitive, very psychic, very in tune, tapped in, also knowing to protect your peace, protect your energy. You're in a protective bubble. You're also receiving divine downloads, interventions from spirit, transmissions, you know, even up uploads up, you know, like you're getting uploads from spirit. You're getting like your DNA is being um, is being like um, like updated. I'm hearing updated, so something's being amplified within you. Maybe some of you all are having like a lot of, um, you know, like dull headaches right now because maybe there are some some downloads that are happening at this time. You know, I'm also getting a sense of some of you all who were um, who were very guarded. It's like someone could be communicating with you. Maybe via the dream world. Maybe you're picking up on someone's energy because they're thinking of you all the time. I just saw 1313, you know, and that 1313, uh, 13 is the death card. So someone's definitely like overly concerned with you and your transformation, you and your ascension, because we just saw power. So you taking your power back has someone like up in their head heavily. But I feel like your personal growth you know, you are spiritually in alignment. So you are very sensitive. I was picking up on that energy of like very sensitive right now. Like you are, oh, you are very um, blissed right now. And I, I feel like you got to stay grounded. Like stay grounded. So we have patience. Patience is a form of action. And as you can see, she's planted seeds and it's growing. It's producing you know, fruit, it's producing, you know, um, it's producing, period. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, it's producing. So it's like, even if it's taking time, 14, 14, that's 5, 5, that's 10. So it's like the seeds that you've sowed, even though maybe there was an ending in one scenario, every ending denotes a new beginning. So it's like spirit recognized in 14, 14. And remember, this is 14 also. So that's 5, 5, 5, that's 15. That's six. So that's about you, you know, making those necessary steps to to move on, to go to what to the next phase, the next stage and not stay in something that had you stuck and stagnant. You know, I feel like um, 
you know, wherever you were, there was a lot of conflict. There was a lot of competition. There was a lot of, of, of turmoil. You know, I'm hearing Tweedledee, Tweedledum. And it's like I'm seeing the five of wands where everybody's just kind of tripping over each other and in competition with each other. And it's like I feel like you moved out of that energy. And I feel like you, you instead uh, chose to, to focus on, you know, what was in, in front of you. You know, so the seeds you've sown in the past, this is like your intention, you setting your intention. And that's 14, which is five that's associated with the Hierophant. And so that's really like learning, you know, you're mastering a craft, you're receiving divine downloads. All of these lights, you know, is representative of like the gods, the angels, the ancestors, giving you the guidance, giving you the nudge to stay focused. You know what I'm talking about? Mastering your craft. Not getting distracted because that's what the distractions want to do. Distract. You know what I'm talking about? And we have um, Jay Dilla, too much. Rising power king. So with too much, I feel like you didn't spend too much or utilize too much of your time doing anything but... What you was focused on. This is you like honing your skills, your gifts, your talents. You know, this is you learning new trades. This is you mastering your craft. You know what I'm talking about? Like this is you learning, learning something new. This is you even discovering your life purpose path, your mission. You know what I'm talking about? Learning what you are here to do. What you are here to uh, share or impart to the masses, to the collective. That's what this five is all about. You're sitting at the feet of the elders. You could be reading, you know, a lot of materials right now. You could be in a studious energy. You could be just soaking up a lot of wis a lot of knowledge, and that knowledge will manifest into wise dome. So this is like really like in that mode of, you know, um, of really just learning, seeking wise counsel, a higher learning. That's beautiful. This is the overall energy. We have mental conflict. So this is that energy of the person that has you on their brain. You know? Because you're not giving them the time or the energy because you're focused on mastering your craft. And this is someone in two minds. Remember I was picking up the two. So that two is showing me like the two is giving me a sense of you having someone who's like very conflicted mentally. Stuck you know, stuck in a space of anxiety, worry, stress. And this five and two, this is all self-imposed. This is the seven. I was picking up the seven of swords. So that person that was deceiving you was only deceiving themselves because maybe they are, you know, maybe they were trying to play a game that you've mastered. You know, they're playing checkers, you playing chess. It's like, okay, you, you you over here, you know, overly concerned with me while I'm over here mastering my craft. So in the past, this could have been, you know, roles reversed almost. You know, this could have been someone who could have had you up in your head, you conflicted. And because you've kind of, you know, severed the ties or discommun you know, discon uh disengaged now there's this sense of like someone like can't get you off their mind they're like stuck it's interesting see that because they see that you're the wish fulfillment but this is what you're receiving you're receiving this beautiful uh wish fulfillment there's a it's coming in quickly because this is a shooting star this is something you've prayed for this is something that you have manifested and if you look in the background, there's all these mountains which denote hardships, turmoil. You overcoming certain atrocities. You overcoming certain drama. You know, 1919, that's 1010. As soon as I said drama, someone's realizing after the fact that you are a wish fulfillment and you have been the whole time. We got Janet Jackson, Funny How Time Flies. So this person is like sitting here because you're not focused on them no more. You're, you're literally here 
and you're you're focused on whatever this is, whatever, whether that's a business, whether that's a new trade, whether that's your career, whether that's your home, your hearth, your family, your children, yourself, whatever this is, this is like you are really uh, finding emotional, spiritual equilibrium, you know, and spirit is giving you, you know, this, this, this nudge, this push, you know, to focus, to not get distracted because whoever this is, whatever they were sending to you, whoever's praying on your downfall, it's like you're, you're returning it right on back to sender because you are here receiving rewards and rush rewards and recognition because of your hard work. This is karma Dharma. Someone's receiving karma. Whatever they've done, their karma is to watch you succeed, watch you proceed. I shall proceed. That's what you're doing. Your, your prayers are being answered. Miracles are taking place. Wish fulfillment is here for you. And with funny how time flies, this is like it's happening in divine timing. And some of you all may look up and be like, dang, I came a long way because you've been so busy. You know, this is a very, very studious energy. It's like you are focused, man. You got the eye of the tiger. You know, this is not someone who tries something and gets discouraged and then they stop and, you know, they sit around idly. Nah, this is someone who, who tries and tries again. They master whatever it is they're doing. They learn it and they don't only learn it, but they learn to master whatever it is that they've learned. So it's like you, you become so skilled that you now are a master teacher. It's just like healing. Every great healer had to first heal themselves. And I feel like every teacher had to first be the student. And so whatever it is you've learned, it's like spirit taught you. Like you got you to gotta focus, on, focus on whatever it is you want and, and put that time, put that energy and put your intention into it. And you will see it will produce, you know, it will materialize, it will manifest. You can see that seed. Is it has it has blossomed. That's beautiful. I love it. That's beautiful. So this is the overall energy. And we have the seven here. And we're about to pull the card for the person that's praying on your downfall. So this is absolutely someone that got you heavy on their mind. And we can see that with the mental conflict. Because that seven is the crown chakra. So they could be dreaming of you, thinking of you day and night. You know what I'm talking about? And with funny how time flies, this is someone you haven't spoken to in a minute. It's been a minute. And they're still thinking about you. You could be dealing with someone who has Jay in their name. Janet could be their name. Jackson could be their name. First, middle, and that. First, middle, or last. So let's cut this deck. And we have uh, Foxy Brown. Got to get you home tonight. So the bottom of the deck, we got this transformation card. So this person, whoever is praying on your downfall, this is a death. 13 is the death card. Someone is having, and remember I saw 1313, so someone's going through some sort of major transformation themselves. It's like maybe you have triggered them to do some sort of work, or maybe this person is going through some sort of painful ending, painful loss. They're learning something. 13 breaks down to four, so this is someone who's been like, you know, now they're forced to look at things, you know, forced to assess things. Maybe they're taking onus and accountability, perhaps, or maybe this is what spirit is trying to get someone to see. You know, it's like the sacrifices, um, you know, that that you made, uh, which is why you've transformed. And now they're now um, going through some sort of painful ending or loss. Um, death isn't easy. Death is a process. Death is something that Scorpios make look easy. Uh, because you are the conduits of change. Um, but this is something someone's going through. They're going through some sort of major change or major transformation in their life. Um, and I feel with that four, I'm getting like the four of cups where now they're realizing like you're the one that got away. And yep, with the love begins here. So someone now is growing, you know, who's praying on your downfall. is It could be someone who's discovering that someone that they were with uh is like looking at you as the one that got away is feeling some sort of feelings towards you you know this could even be just you you know seeing that you've been healing yourself seeing that you are complete you know you're complete with you you're content with just you you are not someone 
who needs a man. Some people don't know how to be alone because they're so codependent on another person. You have to learn to live alone before you can be in a relationship. So that's a lot of lessons. Um, you know, that's a lot. You know, that's a lesson that a lot of uh, people have to learn is independence. You know, that one is about, you know, loving you first and foremost. You got to fill your own cup. You know, and then when you fill your own cup, then you can manifest love. You can manifest that person, you know, because you will attract what you are. If you are full and loving yourselves and you are at that space where you, um, you know, you know your love language or you have uh, emotional intelligence, then you could attract someone to you that will also give to you equally because they'll see your worth and value. You won't have to convince someone of your worth and value. And I feel like this is something someone is um learning in this this process this ending this death you know this is like they're transforming as well and it's painful it's not easy you make it look easy so how does this person is praying on our beloved scorpio's downfall feel about our beloved scorpio's may I have a message of love and light how does this person is praying on scorpio's downfall feel about our beloved scorpio's may I have a message of love and a message of light spirit how does this person is praying on scorpio's downfall feel about our Scorpios, we have a message of love and light. And we have the partnerships and alliances. This is three. I get like the three of pentacles from that. So this is someone that could have been in a third party relationship. Now they want to return and try to convince you that they want to start again or they want to partner up with you. They want to build an alliance. They want to reconnect or re uh, or make an amends. Um, we've got to get you home with me tonight. Like this is someone who's trying to perhaps, um, you know, repair the connection how they feel about you we got the love begins here so this is someone that does love you look at that disruption this is the tower so how they feel about you this is very telling because you got the love begins and then you have the 16 which is the tower so they feel like you've doing you've been doing what exactly what i said you've been healing from some sort of painful ending the tower is like this is all the blockages this is everything that was blocking you from your happiness, from your peace. And they were included. That 16, remember, I was saying that was like the seven of swords. So this person now, because I was getting the seven from here, with that four and that one and that two. This is your energy. You took the time out to focus on you, yourself, and you. Mastering your craft, your hobbies. This person is heavily thinking about you. They're in two minds thinking about you. Overly thinking about you. Overly concerned with you. Why? Because they see you now as this shining light. You know, you have taken your vulnerabilities and turned them into superpowers. You have been master manifesting. You have been praying, praying, you know, praying and, and preparing and planning and manifesting and creating and co-creating. And they've been watching you do this. And now they are having some sort of death. This could include ego death. This is a full transformation that they're going through. And this is something spirit Spirit is responsible for this. This is a death. This is the death of the old you and the birth, the emergence of someone new. What we have here for how they feel about you is all of their games, the lies, the trickery, everything they were hiding all came to surface. And this is what you had to heal from. Like I said, you got to learn to love you first and foremost. So you could have been pouring into this person, into this relationship, giving of yourself relentlessly only to discover that this person was deceitful. This person was a trickster, a liar, fugazi, talking because they had lips, someone who spoke with a forked tongue, someone who was secretly envious, jealous. So they're preying on your downfall because of the fact that you've been healing, because of the fact that you haven't been paying the attention or any attention. You've been patiently focusing on what you got going on. You've been learning. This five is the hierophant. That's about studentship. That's about being studious, learning, growing, elevating, mastering your craft. Someone's perturbed that you're focusing on you and not on them. They're not used to it. It's like a brat. It's like me, me, me type of energy. And they're not only watching you manifest, but they're watching blessings. They're watching you move forward. They're watching all type of positive things start to unfold in your life. And this is how they feel. They feel very 
disruptive. They are a disruption to your life. That's why I said don't get distracted by the distractions because this could be someone trying to plan how to come in and distract you off your path. And it may be someone trying to come in and act like they want to build an alliance. They want to rebuild a friendship. They want to reconnect. But this could be trick knowledge because the three is telling me that this is someone who could potentially get you caught up in heartache and emotional loss yet again. This could get you caught up in third party shenanigans. Um, this could be someone who is, you know, really like not really sure of what they want. Um, you know, the three of cups, this could be someone who is, you know, just, just talking because they have lips emotionally manipulative. Um, we have D'Angelo, me and those dreamy eyes of mind playing. So let's see what we have. So what's hidden in the energy for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? So I was picking up on someone thinking of you, dreaming of you a lot. So with that dream, dreamy eyes. So with dreamy eyes, I feel like they're watching you also. Someone's definitely dreaming. See that? Look at that. That same four. See that? This person, I'm telling you, like this is um, someone who is really, they're very disheartened. You know, by the loss of this connection. It's like their happy days are gone. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you've left, so their happy days are gone. This house is dark. There isn't any light. There isn't any joy. This is, I feel like it's even cold. You know what I'm talking about? This person dreams of you, thinks of you. We have patience and we have planning. So this person is planning something. And look what's here. We have awareness. So this is the manipulator. This is the master manipulator. The magic, the magician is a master manipulator. Spirit, spirit is telling you stay on your square. You know, stay perpendicular in your square because someone is definitely secretly planning some sort of, you know, entrance. This is the seven again and the one. So they're trying to get you confused because I'm getting like the eight of swords with manipulation. And we got the firm foundation, the four. So they're trying to disrupt your 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 stability, your security. They're trying to disrupt, you know, because four is really, you know, your your you you've rebuilt. It's like you you have rebuilt on a firm and solid foundation. And so whomever this person was that caused that tower, it's like they're trying to um, disrupt that. You know, they're trying to bring they're trying to bring some sort of um, instability you know they're trying to bring some instability because they're unhappy it's almost like and look what slid out when i said that it's like this person whoever this is it's like because you know how they say hurt people hurt people well because they feel so confused it's like they want to bring that confusion right back to you this is someone that's very like ugh. this is nasty energy you know, this is a very, very um, toxic person. And I feel like you did everything you could to get away from this person, including ignoring them. You ig the ignorance. These two cards slid out. Look at that. They're trying to create an obstacle for you. They're trying to create some sort of obstacle, some sort of challenge. And look at who this is. This authority figure. This could be a masculine energy. Remember that same four is here. Even if it's not a masculine, it's someone who's in a masculine energy. It could be a feminine. But this is what I'm getting. This is someone who's very controlling, you know, very narcissistic, my way or the highway. See the body language. This is not someone that's welcoming, loving, kind. This is a very cold person. I was even getting like this energy, this environment. It was very cold. And because you are, you see how you're focused on what you are, the seeds you're sowing, on your craft, you're focused on what you are producing on your divinity. This is causing someone to be like frustrated because they're used to being the center of attention. They're used to you giving them all of your attention, all of your time, all of your energy. This person's coming to create some sort of chaos in your life, obstacles, challenges, because you are far too stable. They, they, they don't like you being independent and self-sufficient. This is the same person that wanted to bring, you know, how they felt about you was this. It's like you done healed from all the ish they threw at you. 
They tried to disrupt your peace, your happiness, block your blessings, thwart your plans, and it didn't work because you came out as someone so renewed. You've emerged as someone self-loving, strong, standing in your power, knowing your worth. This is powerful. Wow. So I'm going to put these back in there because they slid out as um, bonus messages. I feel like Spirit really wanted you to see that. So let's see. What is the outcome? For who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall. And with this AKA here that's sticking out to me. It's like, you know, this is someone who has an alias. So they are very, you know, this is someone that doesn't, they, they don't present their true self, their authentic self. They wear masks. And we have um, Teddy Pendergrass. It don't hurt now. Playing. Wait. Teddy Pendergrass. Where it don't hurt now. I'm just getting. And it says. Uh, Life is a song worth singing. Spirit's telling you. Stay on your square. Trust your intuition. Because someone's definitely planning. This I was picking up seven of swords. And, and, and you know. I'm telling you. And with this patience and planning. Like they're patiently planning. You know. Some sort of attack. Place, patiently planning. And, and being very manipulative. Very, very cunning. Very sly. And that's why, you know, this here, you got to stay on your square, beloved. And with this, uh, it don't hurt no more. I feel like that's just speaking to someone who's very numb, very devoid of emotion. You know what I'm talking about? Like, very devoid of emotion. So why is this, um, what is the outcome for our beloved Scorpios for who's praying on their downfall? May I have a message of love and love. Oh, wait, was that? Oh, no, no. Let me get the outcome for who's praying on Scorpios downfall. May I have a message of love. And a message of light spirit. What is the outcome for who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall? Thank you, spirit. And finish the shuffle. And this one is sticking out. So we have re recognition and reward. And this two spiritual union here. So they're not blocking ish. They're not blocking anything. See that? Look at that. Do you see what that is? Bam. Temptation. What did I say? Somebody's trying to disrupt you, distract you, tempt you. That's why spirit kept saying, like, trust your intuition. What did I say about emotional loss? Someone's hurting, so they're trying to hurt you. This is someone that you left long time ago because they wasn't giving you what you was needing, what you deserved, what you required, you know. And so because you moved on and not only did you move on, you never looked back. And so now they're, they're like sitting here frustrated, angry because you didn't fall for the okie doke. You didn't look, turn back, go back like they're so used to you doing. But someone is very much trying to plot, scheme, and scam. This is the devil himself. Temptation. You know what I'm talking about? Like jealous and envious. Why? Because look what you have here. That's why I said spirit is like, yo, this person is going to be very manipulative. They're planning, secretly planning, plotting. You know, how to get you from this. Because what did I say? You attract what you are. When you love yourself, we get the love begins. This is what you are going to attract. Another like mind. Someone who's going to give to you emotionally the same way that you give to them. This is your reward. I said this literally verbatim. This is what you all deserve. And someone is very perturbed by that. This devil was like, he was like sticking his head out. When those two cards came out, he was like showing himself. So the devil is, is, is like, he can't reveal, he can't, um, he can't hide for long. Like I said, I was picking up like, uh, 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 like a hidden enemy, someone wearing a mask because with it don't hurt no more. It's like someone's numb, someone's devoid of emotion. And that's exactly what the devil is. Because they hurt, they want you to hurt. Because they, you know what I'm saying? It's like, this is like misplaced anger. This is someone that's very, very um, troubled. A troubled soul. It's a troubled soul, beloved. So let's tap in. Let's get some messages. I want to get some messages from the uh, dark grimoire. Divine spirit. What do we have on the bottom of the deck? So we have the ten of pentacles. So it looks like you have something beautiful. This is like that happy house, happy spouse type of energy right here. That could be your reward. Not only are you going to be financially blissed, you know, receiving like financial stability, fulfillment, but you're also receiving wish fulfillment. This is like the two of cups. This is someone, as I said, that's a like mind that speaks your love language. That's on the same frequency, wavelength. You know, this is someone that's definitely 
are going to uh, pour into your cup and you theirs. You know, this is like, you know, destined, you know, and with this 10 of pentacles, this is like generational wealth, generational family, children, legacy, building a nucleus, building that solid foundation. And there's someone who is really, really perturbed by that on the split. Look at that. The eight of swords. I can't make this ish up. This is the eight of swords. This is what they're doing. Trying to keep you stuck. Remember, we had um, what was that? Uh, Stay by Jodeci. Someone's trying to get you to stay, stay where you are, stay put. They could be doing spells, binding spells, rituals, freezing spells. This is someone who watches you, stalks your life. This is definitely someone who could have some of your like your bodily, um, you know, like some of your bodily. How do you say that? Um, uh, some some of your like personal bodily. Um, belongings like maybe like nail clippings hair uh, this is someone that does shit you know because with that magician and the patience and planning and when the two came out i was getting like the high priestess and the high priest and you know that is an energy they are very they could be very sneaky you know and so someone's watching you someone does not want you to have this happy after you know happily ever after with someone else they have a message of love and life spirit. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? And I see the world. So you are at a distance. You created space and distance. This is also showing that you have, you know, um, reached that level of self-mastery, as I said. This is like a graduation card. You know, this is you uh, getting to that level where you know yourself. You know, and you don't just get to the place where you know yourself. You actually have to heal thyself. You learn to love yourself. Then you know yourself. You know what your worth is. You know your value. You know what you like. You know what you don't like. You know what not to settle. And that's the space, you know. And so this is what I get a sense of, like, because you have taken the necessary steps to heal, because you've taken the necessary steps to love you, uh, that's what the patience is. You know, patience is, is that sacrificial position of healing and, and doing what's required to be better and and not shine from that and that's why i feel like you have this recognition and reward along with the spiritual union and we have here the ten of chalices ten of chalices ten of pentacles emotional fulfillment financial fulfillment period point blank this is what's yours it's coming and that's literally what this this spiritual union and recognition and reward is here saying as well this is like double confirmation so let's cut the deck and there's someone definitely you know, this little trickster, this is tricknology right here. You know, this is someone talking because they have lips. This is someone trying to get you to, you know, fall for the okie doke here. This is the They Pray and Pray on Your Downfall series. And look at this devil. Very cunning little fella, isn't he? Or little miss. Whatever that is. Don't fall for it. Don't get sucked into the abyss. Caught up in the rapture, beloveds. Because this is someone that is, they have it out for you. And I can see it here, especially with this... You know, this magician right here and spirit is telling you, look alive, be aware of your surroundings. Don't fall for the okie don't don't fall for words. Don't allow anybody to come in and disrupt your peace or, you know, disturb you or distract your peace, your happiness. This is powerful. So spirit of love and light. Thank you. Bottom of the deck. This is going to clarify the patience card. And look at that. The devil came out again. I can't make this up. What did I say about somebody's really perturbed watching you? manifest new things into your life growing new you know wealth or growing knowledge you know growing within the self healing the self look at the devil he's sitting there spotting always watching this person stalks you i literally just said that this is the second time the devil done came out so this is who's praying on your downfall beloved and why because you are growing learning healing maturing ascending and elevating and this is what they don't like they're used to having control they're used to being in the you know in control this is someone who has a sick attachment to you someone who could be codependent on you as well this is someone that is very disturbed and we have az here playing sugar hill so this person may try to play nice, nasty. They may be someone that plays nice, nasty is what I'm getting with Sugar Hill. You know what I'm talking about? Like it's a slippery slope as well is what I'm hearing. That's why Spirit was telling you like don't allow somebody to, you know, tempt you. 
you know, don't get caught up in illusions because this is what the devil does. You know, the devil, I'm telling you, with new levels, there's new devils, you know, literally. I've been seeing that um, saying so much this week. You know, I saw somebody posted something saying that. And then I saw, uh, I was watching a video and they actually coined that in the video. So with new levels, new devils, you know, and that's what's happening. You are growing, evolving, ascending, that five, the hierophant, learning, mastering your craft, you know, reaching that higher, more deeper, profound understanding of yourself of your circumstances and someone is really perturbed that you're doing that inner work that you're healing it's like how dare you and this is someone who refuses to let you go this is someone who is like very stubborn you know very hard-headed if you look at their mouth their mouth is sewed shut so this is someone that does not emote does not express anything communicate this is someone who's also like it's like whatever they've learned um I can't even say that. It's like this person refuses to let you go. You know, it's like they are, they, they, there's a cup still here on the nightstand. Uh, but this person cannot even drink from that chalice because their mouth is so shut. So it's almost like, you know, something they may have said in the past has bit them in the ass. So something that they may have done in the past, it's like now this is their karma. This is what they have to pay for. And this is the four of pentacles. This person is perturbed because Why? Because they still can't get you off the brain. They still focusing on you, holding you, carrying you in their spirit. You're in their energy. Meanwhile, you're focused on whatever you have going on. You're not preoccupied with what they're doing anymore. Maybe you were in the past. And this is something that frustrates them. They're like literally like, you know, why isn't, you know, Scorpio doing anything to let me know that, you know, they care because you don't, you, you care about you now, you know, in the past you could have overcompensated and gave more than you received. But here, this person is like, they, they feel the coldness. They feel the distance because you are very guarded. You know, you, you're not really uh, giving anything to this person. And we have smoothed the hustler and trigger. And this is called broken language. Can you see that? Let me see. Smooth the hustler. Yep, so this person was like very much that, that player, you know, and the player may have gotten played. The player, you know, could have um, bumped into someone that was similar to them, you know, but smooth the hustler. Like they was trying to hustle you out of your happiness and your peace. That's literally what, you know, the, the this devil does. You know, they, they, they hustle people out of their happiness, out of, you know, their peace. They even hustle folks out of heaven. You know what I'm talking about? Like... You know, that people, they get folks to sell their soul. And this is something this person may be reflecting back on and looking and saying, damn, because you didn't fall for the okie doke. And they're still holding on to you, maybe to the memories. You know, this is like also stubbornness because like with their mouths being shut, uh, sewn shut, I just feel like this is like mums the word. They're not saying anything which is causing them even more mental anguish. So why is this mental conflict here for what's hidden in the energy for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? With broken, lang broken um, language also, I just get a sense that this person may be like, they may not know how to express themselves or emote. Um, they may be like emotionally stunted or immature, not on your level, you know. And, and maybe they said some things you know, that they regret or maybe they said some things in the past that now they're, they're, you know, they're looking back and saying, damn, you know, why did I say that? Why did I do that? You know, praying on your downfall. Why is this uh, mental conflict here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? May have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And we have this uh, two of, what is that? The swords. So that's the same energy. Two, they're in two minds. The two of swords and the two of swords this is literally what this energy is. They're up in two minds and you could literally see another face inside of this man's head. So another head inside of another head, which means you're in two minds. 48, 48. And that's 12, 12. That's three. So what is that? Six. That's three, three. That's six. So that six is telling me, you know, that that's the person that you moved away from, you left behind. And this is the four of chalices that I mentioned. Now they feel like they missed an opportunity or now they have these regrets, 
You can see the tower off in the background, like they're thinking back to how that tower occurred, what they did, and they're questioning themselves. Why did they do that? They're looking at you now from a distance. You know, you can see this person, he's almost like, you know, writing letters and then, you know, almost wanting to apologize. Remember, we had broken language, so they're not communicating. Something's broken within the communication as well. Like there's none. It's non-existent. And this person wants to express something. You can see his face. He is like troubled. He's a troubled soul. He's very saddened. He's stressed. He's overwhelmed. This is analysis paralysis. You know? And it's almost like, you know, like I said, this is their karma. And we have on the bottom of the deck that two, that two of swords still. So that's really just, you know, confirming. And it's like, spirit is also saying like in the past, this person may have like, you know, with the, I'm getting the air violin where they always have some sort of sob story or they always have some sort of, you know, uh, situation going on where you may have in the past, you, you felt, you felt sorry for them or you, um, you extended yourself, you know, overextended yourself and then they would just play games, um, with your energy. And now you're not doing that anymore. You're not falling for the okie doke. It's almost like you see that you see clearly, you know, you see this person for who they are. You know, they could have been, you know, very much a gaslighter, just just very, um, you know, just very manipulative, you know, emotionally, mentally, you know, even just, you know, uh, toying with your emotions, pulling on your heartstrings, as I said, telling you things um, just to get you to just to get you to uh, give them you know, just to, just so that they can energy, be that energy vampire, if you will, because it's like they get their source from you, you know, and, and I feel like you heard, you heard the violin, that air violin is just, it was playing like, okay, here we go again, you know, here we go again, and we have, um, what is this playing right now, we got Mary J. Blige, Love No Limit, playing, yeah, so love no limit. You loved yourselves. You know, this is the star. The star, she is definitely focused on healing herself, finding balance, equilibrium, uh, coming into that spiritual and emotional, uh, you know, alignment, you know, being grounded, balanced, and in alignment, turning vulnerabilities into superpowers, you know, turning that pain into a superpower, owning her power, learning to co create. Um, and, and definitely not shying away, you know, not shying away from, from what is required to uh, be a better version of herself, sending up those prayers, those petition, those petitions, speaking to the angels, you know, the ancestors, your, your, your spirit guides, deities, gods, um, and them providing the answers, the wish fulfillment with love, no limit. That's just like infinite supply. The eight is, you know, the infinity symbol sideways. So that's like an infinite supply. That's also saying there's like wish fulfillment, blessings and miracles that are coming in. And there's not going to be a limit to it because it's like you've earned it. It's like you are a star. This is meant for you. And it's coming quicker than you could even imagine. So let me see. I feel there's some communication as well. So divine spirit 11, like why is this eight accelerated motion here for who's praying in Scorpio's downfall and why? Why is this eight accelerated motion here for... The overall energy for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. We have a message of love and a message of light. And we have the nine of wands on the bottom of the deck. So that's definitely you being very guarded. You knowing your worth and value. And you, you know, seeing now by taking a step back. All of those people that you was giving to uh, weren't really reciprocating. And so now you've established boundaries. You're no longer giving to those who were like you know, bottomless pits, just always taking, not doing that anymore. We have the death card. So your transformation, you transforming, growing, elevating, and ascending, you know, into your higher self, you know, emerging into someone who has had a death of that old victim mentality or that old lack mentality and emerging someone new is the reason why these wishes are coming true. This is the reason why there's rewards and recognition because you did the work and we have this zero, the fool. So now this person, this fool, you know. This fool, because this is the energy of the person you're, uh, you know, that's preying on your downfall. They feel like a fool because you've transformed on that ass. You're no longer concerned with what they have going on. Now they're trapped. They're trapped in their own illusion. They're trapped in their own victim mentality that they were trying to create for you, or their own, um, their own. I just 
just their own illusion. Let's just call it that. And you have emerged. It's like you grew wings. You know what I'm talking about? Like you are stable. You are self-sufficient. This is that energy, you know, of this, this firm foundation. You know, this is what you have really taught this person. Uh, they were trying to mimic you and mock you, but they are trapped. You know, they're stuck in a straitjacket because they done went crazy. Uh, stressing over your ass, you know, because they in a stray jacket, all the stressing and over analyzing, ruminating, pining has put them in this stray jacket. And look at all of the people around them, the same people that they could have played you for, the same people that had you, you know, they had you in these competitions, these third party entanglements. They done drove them crazy. They done tro drove them, drove them batshit crazy to the point where something ended, painful endings, emotional loss. Remember, we had that emotional loss here and this is exactly what they were going through because they were entangled you know with these individuals with whom they didn't do their uh you know they didn't they didn't really check for the red flags they just jumped into it they just took those leaps without checking to see if it was hitting on anything they could have got stuck with other snakes and fakes just like them because as i said earlier you're going to attract what you are and so they did they attracted some folks that was just as fugazi um who spoke with four tongues the same as them and that's why they're sitting here now feeling very foolish you know they're feeling very foolish and they're sitting and going through this while watching you ascend and you're also very protected you got the fiery wall of protection around you you're not allowing anybody to come in and disturb your peace and why it's because you're healing you're focusing on you this is how they see you you know remember and that's what they want to disrupt they want to find a way to dis disrupt this this peace this happiness you know this 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 uh emotional contentment that you are feeling and we have um Look at this. We got four some D's singing love is a house. And what did I say? Like you are the empress. So they see you as someone that is like the home and the hearth. You know, that's what that empress. That's what that emperor even. That's what they provide. They provide, you know, the stability, the love, the nurturing. They provide the pro the protection, the security, you know, and, and the tender loving care. You know, that maternal, paternal energy. With love begins, you got to pour from your own cup, your own vessel first. So you have to be whole. You got to love that self. And when you love that self, you attract others that love you because they see that you love you. 56, 56. That's why you have, and that's 11, 11. That's why you have this energy coming in. You have someone coming in that's absolutely going to be a like mind. Someone that's going to have the same interests. This is someone that's going to absolutely, uh, again, speak your love language. So let's tap in. Why is this love begins here? For how this person that's praying on Scorpio's downfall feels about Scorpio. Why is this love begins here? For how this person that's praying on Scorpio's downfall feels about our beloved Scorpio. May I have a message of love in my spirit. Why is this love begins here? For how this person that Scorpio's attracting. Thank you. And we have the four of swords. What did I say? This is someone that now is having to reflect, having no choice but to take onus and accountability. Because why? Because they've made some mistakes. That person, that, that three of swords, emotional loss, they done watched you grow. They done watched you move on from disappointment. That, that graveyard that they're at, this is like mourning a death. It feels like a death because that's literally what they're going through right here. It's like, it's like a death. But it's, spirit is hoping to transform Transform their way of thinking. Transform their way of behaving. With love is a house, you are the hearth. Love is a house. You feel comfortable. You feel safe. You know? We got the three of wands. So you can see these individuals are watching someone. So this is what you did. You took action. You know, you took action. You, you were very active, proactive in your healing process. You didn't just sit around and complain and whine and play victim and... You know, woe is me, self-loathing. Nah, you, you, you planned and prepared and strategized and took action to heal thyself. And in doing that, that's what led to you loving yourself. That's what led to you becoming healed. And we got the magician again. See that? This is this person sitting here plotting and scheming how to disrupt your peace, how to disrupt your happiness, how to disrupt your, your energy. You know, this is someone who's really like, that's the magician here. 
up late at night watching you. You know, as I said, they could be doing some sort of spell work. They could be doing some sort of magic spells, binding spells or rituals, trying to entrap you, disrupt you, trying to have you stuck. The 16 here is like the seven of swords. So this is a deceiver. This is a master manipulator, a conniver. Can't trust anything they say. And the magician is here twice. And so we have the, um, what is this? Strength card. See that? Spirit is telling you to maintain your strength. Stand your ground. See how she's standing up to this beast? She's not backing down. She sees him with that, that light from the candle. So it's like definitely light your protective candles. Keep candles lit on your altars. You know, definitely make offerings. Give offerings, I should say, to your ancestors. Pour libation. Give them fresh flowers. You know, pour them. Give them their fresh you know, their favorite foods or their favorite uh, treats, you know, give poor libation because there's someone secretly plotting and planning, you know, your this attack. You know, they pray and pray on your downfall and they're planning and preparing patiently. You know, this is someone who's up late at night planning this shit out, you know, and spirit is saying, don't back down, beloved. I'm hearing don't back down. Look that devil in the face and rebuke it. Talk, you know what I'm talking about? Like, don't, don't play with it. Don't play with this energy. Rebuke it, you know. Stare it right in the face and say, I rebuke your ass. Because this energy here is like, this is what you're dealing with. You're dealing with some dark ass energy. Oh, hating asses. We got the Crusaders and it says street life. And we have the six of chalices. So this is that person from the past, someone from your past, sitting here reminiscing, you know, sitting here reminiscing on this connection, reminiscing on how things were. You see all the smoke, you know, and I even see like, you know, the tower as well that they caused. This is why they're coming back trying to manipulate a situation. Maybe this is what they did. They manipulated it in the past. Now they're sitting here in, 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 in regret almost, you know, kind of fantasizing or just um, in this very nostalgic energy with street life. This is somebody who was for the streets, in the streets, hugging the streets, hugging the block. They was never available, always out about, never there, you know, um, comforting you or never there really uh, supportive of whatever connection y'all had. This is somebody who was just in the streets with street life. I just feel like, you know, the, there's some shake, some, some janky energy, some real, uh, real, um, how do you say it's real, it's some real, uh, let me get my thoughts together because this stuff is coming so fast and I'd be just, but it's like this, there's some real, you know, sussy energy out there in the streets. So it's like, you know, anything goes out there. Anything goes, anything goes on. And so when you are in the streets, you have to be, you're like of the streets. You know, you, 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 you always thinking of the next con game. You always thinking of the next come up. Um, you, 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 you don't stand on anything, you know, a real person or a real man or a real woman they're not in the streets running about running amok they're they're in their homes and they're they're creating an atmosphere where they can can produce you know and 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 and, and co-create and and become something greater when you in the streets that that is you know that's demon time you know what i'm talking about and we could see that clearly with the devil you know so the street life and crusaders, I feel like that's what this person was all about. They was just, they had a street mentality. Um, and you could have uh, street smarts. You could also have book smarts. And I feel like this person was perhaps, um, they thought they was street smart or they thought that they, and they probably got played. Something happened to them out in them streets because now they, 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 they hating on you and your stability and they're plotting on how to take you off your square. Um, and they're really feeling really perturbed by that. Uh, but let's tap in. Maybe they realize how stable things were when they were with you. All right. So the message came out really quick. So why is this for, firm foundation here? 
what did I say? They realized how stable it was with you. And look what we got. We got the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. And we got this firm foundation. This is what they jelly about. They jelly of the fact that you was definitely, um, you know, very independent, self-sufficient. And you've uh, you've grown to that. Like, that's what's hidden. Is they they hating on the fact that you could take care of you. Whether you female or male. Like, they they hating on the fact that you, you don't need for want. You don't need or want for anything. You're not asking them for nothing. You ain't. You ain't looking like you missing a meal. You know what I'm talking about? Like, so this here, this is what flew out to clarify that. And this is the King of Wands. So the King of Wands is really like, you know, that's that. They could be very flighty in and out. This could be someone who's very much, um, they want things their way. They, 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 they could be uh, controlling to some degree. They're very fiery, very passionate. Um, and I feel like here... With this energy, they could come in and try to, you know, lay it on thick, you know, coming in all lustful. And, and, and that's why spirit is saying, like, stand your stand your ground, don't back down, and, and keep your head on a swivel because they could use anything. They could be trying to use anything to come in and take what you have, which is your stability, which is your, um, you know, your independence. So why is recognition and reward here for the outcome for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Thank you, spirit. And what do we have on the bottom of the deck? We got the judgment. So you're going to have to make a judgment call because this is someone who I felt was going through karma. And here it is. Spirit is telling you, you're going to have to make a judgment call. That's why, you know, you have to choose wisely. That's why you have to use your intuition. Use your first eye. So recognition and reward. This is the nine of cups. Chal the, the chalices. Your cup is going to run over because you learn to love you first and foremost. This is all about self-love, self-care, self-worth, self-value. This is about you pouring into you. This is you being selfish, loving you, yourself, and you. And if you look behind you, there are these four uh, pyramids. And the pyramids represent mind, body, and soul. So you are very stable. And I feel like now that you are very uh, much in, you know, that, that space where you are in, uh, you've come into spiritual alignment and, and you have accepted yourself, there's there's blessings that are coming in. This is like the wish fulfillments, the rewards, as I said. There's a miracle that's taking place. Spirit is even answering your prayers in regards to love, you know, because this is you. you you're, you're single. You're taking care of you. You're loving you. Maybe you're calling in love here. You know, you're like, okay, I'm full now. You know, now I could, I, I, I'm ready for a partner. I'm ready for a divine counterpart. You know, this is a very beautiful energy of being very emotionally fulfilled and content on your own. So let's clarify this to spiritual union. And remember, we got judgment here. So spirit is definitely saying like someone is having a wake up call or there is some sort of judgment call you're going to have to make. Why is spiritual union here for the outcome for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? And they have the message of love and light. And we have this eight of pentacles. So that's you, your hard work paying off. Everything that you did is paying off. And we have the emperor here. So you're meeting someone that is going to match your fly, your vibration. This is someone who means business. This is definitely someone very powerful, assertive, confident. This is someone who's a go-getter, a leader, a boss, determined, willful, a protector, a provider. And this is someone who's going to love you right. Someone who's going to take care of you. This is that divine masculine if you're a masculine, you know, this is your divine feminine coming in. And this is a spiritual union. This is a sacred union. And we have Lauren Hill, nothing even matters. So I feel like when this person comes in, nothing's going to matter. Nothing in the world is going to matter because this is like you, you know that this was divinely ordained. This is someone that's going to come in. They want to work together, build that nucleus, build that that foundation generational wealth, health, happiness, happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after type of energy. This is someone coming in to add on. And with this temptation, you got someone also that's trying to distract you away from that, from something stable. Why is this devil here? Wow, those cars flew up and out. And so we have on the bottom of the deck, we have this uh, hermit. So someone is definitely like you're not communicating with someone. There's no contact like you could be in um, isolation. You've taken, you know, kind of a step away from all of, you know, the noise from the outside world. And we have this five of swords. Look how these demons are chasing this man. 
And remember I said you were moving away from all the conflict, the negativity with that six I was getting earlier. And that's what this person is trying to do, distract you back. You know, this is someone that was a part of this, this mob, you know, chasing you in the past. Maybe this is what they're dealing with. But with this temptation, I feel like that's what they're trying to do is get you to fall right back into this entrap, this entrapment, you know, having you stuck in this dismal space and the space where you are conflicted mentally. You don't know who's who, what's what. We have this uh, two of swords again. See that? Mental conflict. I can't make this up. And the two and the five of swords is the seven. So spirit is telling you right here. This is that same person I was picking up on. Deceit. You know, and this is someone who could be envious and jealous of you and your new beginning, jealous of you and your new, you know, your new life. You know, this new chapter that you are about to embark on. And this is what spirit is telling you to do. The queen of swords, chop, chop, suey, beloved, cut off anything, anyone that does not serve you, your highest good. This is about purging people, places and things, clean, clearing and cleansing. This is also about seeing everything for what it truly is, not painting illusions, illusions and not allowing anyone to paint an illusion. The Queen of Swords doesn't take too kindly to anyone insulting her intelligence. You can see she already got a couple of heads. She was she done offed. So this person here, that's what spirit is telling you to do. That's why they said use your intuition. And this Queen of Swords is highly intuitive and very prepared to do what's necessary to maintain her peace that she has been able to obtain through doing the work, the healing, and growing. Most Scorpios, when they go through that dark night of the soul journey or they go through some sort of traumatic experience, they always emerge as the Queen of Swords, keeping the eye, you know, their head on a swivel, checking for the red flag, trusting their intuition like they don't play. And it's 2121 on my clock. So that's 921. And that's three. And you learn from heartache. You know, because I'm getting the three of swords. You know, that's how Scorpios learn, unfortunately. We learn through the death of something. We learn through the death of relationships, the death of, you know, partnerships. You know, whether it be relationships with loved ones, friends, you know, jobs. You know, it's it's like you learn from those experiences. It was just one, 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 one. So that's five. So, yeah. And those were the changes. That's the that's what happened. Those 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 experiences that are very conflicting or um which you felt you were compromising so much in those ultimately teach you um to love you right you know that that's ultimately how you uh grow and evolve but i feel like whoever is coming in they're going to love you right and this is what this person is really pissed off about unexpected income is coming in for you all and remember you already had the wish fulfillment the accelerated motion you also had that recognition and reward card so i do feel like this is like the third confirmation triple confirmation and it's doing part to your hard work you know like you've worked for this so that's why spirit is saying like look look alive be prepared don't let anybody distract you because this is what's coming in for you and this is 27 nine is the highest number of change so all the work you've been doing privately, secretly, quietly is now going to, it's manifesting some sort of um, material, um, some material blessings, some even emotional blessings. Like I feel like now you're ready to love, you know, so let's see, spirit, what's coming and going on, going on. I'm going to just get a couple of messages. We already got one that's chosen. So we have pathway. There's a new pathway here. So you're on a new path. You're entering a whole new chapter. And there's a lot of transformation ahead, there's growth. I feel because you've transformed, like that's what opened up this new chapter. That's why you're on the precipice of this new beginning. We have marriage here. This is what's in your future. So you have someone that is coming in that's going to uh, propose, ask you to be their divine counterpart, their wife, their husband. There's love here and with nothing even matters. Nothing is going to matter. Nothing else in the world is going to matter because that's what all that hard work was for. It was for you to come into this union, come into union with your divine counterpart. So we got that and this. And we have on the bottom of the deck community. So this is like your ancestors. Yet again, your angels. You know, they are really here and being supportive behind the scenes. Remember, we had uh, Oshun gods playing in the beginning. And I just felt like you had ancestors, angels, your deities. They were kind of like protecting you behind the scenes, conspiring behind the scenes to pro protect you and provide for you. 
And so we have, um, let's see what else we have. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light, let's get some messages for Scorpios. Who's praying on their downfall and why? We get a message of love and light. Who's praying on Scorpios downfall and why? We get a message of love and a message of light. Who's praying on Scorpios downfall and why? So I got a message that flipped over. They're hating on you because you got these gifts coming, beloved. Can't make it up. This is another eight. This is eight, seven, 17 reduces to eight. This is that wish fulfillment and it's coming quick. Remember, it's coming quickly. And this is what you're due because you've transformed. You've elevated. You've grown. You've emerged someone new. You did the work, beloveds. You did the work. We got family room. You're coming into a time where there's peace. You know, this is literally like you gaining new perspective. You also learned to turn your home into, a, you know, that house into a home. You're going to be in a relationship where you're going to have that dynamic. Trust me when I tell you. It's happening. Someone is hating on you because you, whatever that, whatever didn't happen or occur with them, you are absolutely going to have it with someone else. And they're going to be kicking themselves in the ass. That's why they're trying to distract you. That's why they're trying to manipulate you. They may be trying to manipulate your energy through spell work and all type of negative-ish going on in the backgrounds. The last spell. Let me get two more. Oh, snap. I didn't even check. I didn't even see that. Mature man. This is what you are attracting, beloved. Someone who has also done the work. Someone who's also been growing and healing. This is someone who could be at a distance. But this is also someone well-learned. Look at all those books behind him. It's well learned. He's also very skilled. Also very, um, wow, you're matching. You're, this is someone matching your fly. Look at that. The 30. Jud judication. This is like you're, you're receiving your just due is what I'm hearing. And with Jones and my bones playing by D'Angelo. Yeah, you, you're going to be falling in love. Like, this is like somebody is definitely, like, falling in love. And that's why someone is very perturbed here. Because they mind in your business, beloved. Let me get one more message for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. And then we're going to wrap it up. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. Get one more message, beloved. Who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall and why. Okay, so this one wants to flip. Yep. Privileged lady, there goes the divine feminine. That number twelve breaks down to three. That's the empress. You already had the empress, so you're matching. You're, you're, you, they're jealous and and envious because you're coming into union with your divine counterpart. You got the emperor and the empress from two different decks. So this is confirmation. Your divine masculine, your divine feminine is coming in. You're coming into a spiritual union. So this is something that is destined. It's preordained. It's written in the stars. This is what's meant for you, and that's why someone's trying to distract you. Someone's trying to, you know, uh, you know, pull some trickology. You know, this is someone that's a devil, so they have some sort of sick attachment to you, codependent to you. There's some changes, beloved. Making some positive changes. Someone's moving away. Maybe you're you're going to be packing it up and moving, or someone's coming in, moving in. You know, this is beautiful. But this is your message, beloved Scorpios. This is who's praying on your downfall. This is the reason why it looks like you're coming into a very abundant time, successful time in love, in finances. There's growth. There's opportunities. Don't get distracted by the distractions. There's an attention whore that is perturbed that you're not giving them the attention that you used to give them. And it's because you started to focus on yourself you started to focus on self-love, self-worth, self-care, and that's why they're frustrated. This is why they could be coming back, trying to disrupt your peace, you know, trying to uh, be an energy vampire. Uh, don't fall for the okie doke. Trust your intuition and set up those those um, those energy blocks. You know what I'm talking about? Like, don't just answer anybody's call. Don't just be available for everybody. Don't try to be Captain save a hoe. Just, you can't do it. Um, take care of you first and foremost. Prioritize you and 
Be receptive because there's beautiful love coming in. You have rewards and recognition for the hard work that you've been doing. And I feel there's marriage in your future. There's blessings. We picked up the deck and it said unexpected income. And now you have this gift. This could be proposal. This could be someone giving you a ring, an engagement ring, giving you a wedding ring. This is beautiful, beloveds. But this is your reading. That's why somebody's hating. They hating. So, like, you know, it, it don't take a whole day to recognize sunshine. So, this person now is looking back and, and kicking themselves in the ass. This is why they're sitting here feeling all foolish. You know, they're feeling stupid. they stuck. You know, this is somebody now who's going crazy. And they're going crazy because you're going to reap what you sow. You know, you sow in good faith. Then you're going to get rewarded for that. You're going to get answered prayers and blessings and and love for that. You know what I'm talking about? Like, there's going to be an accelerated motion. But when you sow in bad faith, well, this is what comes along with it. This is discontent and boredom and unhappiness and emotional loss. You know, feeling left behind. You know, feeling dissatisfied. But... Tricks on you, jokes on you, whoever that was. But this is your reading, beloveds. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Uh, definitely stand your ground, beloveds. Definitely stay focused on what you got going on. Don't get distracted by the distracted. Remember where your where your energy goes, attention flow, or where your attention goes, energy flows. Uh, Shay. So this is your reading, beloveds. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. If you found the messages resonated. Please be kind. Hit the like button, the share button. Hit the bell notification. Definitely drop a comment in the comment section. And if you are returning, you already know what it is. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And enjoy your holy days if you celebrate Christmas. Definitely enjoy time with your family. Um, I hope this message has helped out. Love you all. Peace.